Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Haynes, and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, someone paged the Oval Office because the stars of The West Wing are back together. Yes, you heard me right. Nine years after the hit show wrapped, Martin Sheen, AKA President Bartlett and his staff, reunited for these candid snapshots posted by the show's writer, Eli Addy. Sadly, they weren't at the White House, but at the office of comedy website, Funny or Die, which hopefully means we'll see a sketch video of the cast in the not too distant future. Coming in at number four, buckle up people because Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara are hitting the road. And by Reese's own admission, the pair is just like Thelma and Louise. The wild actress spoke to E! News about the as yet untitled project in which Witherspoon will play an uptight cop on the run with a drug dealer's wife, played by Vergara, who Reese calls one of the funniest people she's ever met. And they certainly seem to be having a great time on the set and behind the scenes. So bring on the road trip, ladies. We can't wait to see what the new Thelma and Louise get up to. Maybe a new selfie. At number three, following the success of the Oscar-nominated Moneyball, Brad Pitt has assembled an all-star cast for his new movie, The Big Short which will be based on another best-selling book written by Michael Lewis. This one's about the financial crisis. And how's this for some eye candy? Brad Pitt, Christian Bale, and Ryan Gosling all sharing the same screen. Somebody's trying to break the big screen. The film is said to be one of Brad's passion projects with the actor producer developing a reputation for movies that tackle serious issues. Educational and easy on the eyes sounds like a win-win to me. Coming in at number two, remakes are the hottest movies in Hollywood right now, and there's no sign of that slowing down with Deadline reporting that Escape from New York, the 1981 Kurt Russell sci-fi, will be getting the makeover treatment. There are no firm casting choices yet, but needless to say, the script will need a bit of updating given that the original was set in the then wildly futuristic time of 1997. Also confirmed for a modern day update, Alfred Hitchcock's thriller, Strangers on a Train. The dream team behind Gone Girl will reunite for the project with Ben Affleck playing the lead role and David Fincher directing. Gillian Flynn is also said to be in talks to write the script under a new title, Strangers. That one will be a good one. And at number one, speaking of Ben Affleck, he's just been announced as one of the contenders for the most dishonorable award show of the season the Golden Raspberry Awards, or the Razzies. This year, for the first time ever, the Razzies will feature the Redeemer Award for stars like Affleck, who went from the mega flop Gigli to the Oscar winner Argo and now Gone Girl. Also getting a chance at redemption are Jennifer Aniston, a four-time Razzie nominee, who's now surrounded by Oscar buzz for her role in Cake, and Keanu Reeves, a six-time Razzie contender, whose new movie John Wick is a proven critical success. I think good luck to them all. Be sure to tune in to GMA for more pop news tomorrow. For ABC News, I'm Sarah Haynes in New York. Have a great day.